Hello, good afternoon. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Thursday's trading session, the 3rd of August 2017. A midday update. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You, know, you can alternatively uh, download the app from the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so uh, market stats at present. FTSE up 50 points on the back of Mr. Carney. Uh, certainly uh, a weaker sterling helping the, uh, the actual. Uh, FTSE trade to a large extent, okay, uh, a weaker sterling obviously is helping. Market certainly interpreting the uh, Mr. Carney's comments, post Carney's comments and post BOE rate decision as being dovish, although I have to differ, I certainly expect them to be hawkish, that's my interpretation thus far. Okay, uh, and that certainly will obviously have an impact on the, uh, the actual uh, move on the FTSE. Uh, subsequently as well okay so uh, at present we have the euro stocks as well you have uh, euro stocks still trading flat stroke negative FTSE MIB uh, certainly higher CAC 40 higher by 20 points even though Mr Macron's uh, confidence certainly is dipping and has dipped quite substantially and the German back DAX remains weak on the back of Siemens certainly reporting a miss in sales going forward okay so that's the status quo at present okay we certainly have um, Sterling dropping, which in turn is helping the FTSE uh, move higher. Okay, uh, we have Asian markets certainly down overnight as well, so certainly take that on board too. Okay, so how do we interpret this uh, market at present? Let's look at the actual stats from a chronological perspective. Uh, this morning we had uh, uh, Australian exports certainly weaker overnight, Chinese data certainly weaker overnight as well, therefore, obviously uh, triggering a risk aversion. Okay, uh, in terms of PMIs, French PMIs certainly on the weaker side. Spanish PMIs on the weaker side, German PMIs on the weaker side, okay, European PMIs on the weaker side, so again, certainly hurting, although retail sales from the Eurozone certainly stronger than expected, so therefore helping, and that certainly has triggered a potential short squeeze in the Euro. We have had dovish commentary from the ECB, um, from my interpretation, we've certainly had dovish commentary, or should we say hawkish commentary from uh, Mr. Carney, given the fact that he's actually attempted to talk up the uh, uh, the actual potential for rate hikes going forward. So that's my interpretation thus far. Okay, uh, and that's basically my how I expect the FTSE to move lower on the back of a potential H&S formation on the S&P 500 as well. If I just bring up the S&P and also given the sell-off in the in the uh, in the Nasdaq yesterday as well. Bear that in mind. Certainly have a shooting star formation there and a H&S formation. On the 60 minute chart so so you are looking for weakness and given the fact that you've had weaker earnings as well the FTSE has been helped by next today though bear that in mind next certainly higher up by seven or eight percent that certainly is helping the FTSE okay so where are we technically speaking let's start with the German DAX okay so German DAX tra certainly trading sideways at the moment on the back of obviously uh, the earnings from next okay so bear that in mind we certainly have held that double bottom but given the fact that uh, should we say Siemens Certainly trading and it is under pressure. 60 minute chart certainly held double bottom, but given the fact that the euro is certainly spiking higher again, we'll keep German DAX subdued. So bear that in mind. Daily chart at the moment still attempting to close that gap below at 12.060. So, how do we interpret the German DAX? So, weaker earnings today, stronger euro certainly will potentially hurt the German DAX. Okay, so, so again, just keep an eye on the DAX going forward. In terms of the French CAC, again, given the fact that Mr. Macron's uh, potential uh, approval ratings are certainly uh, are falling, again, that's going to be a negative, given the fact that we can see we certainly sold off quite high substantially this morning, hitting the pivot low at uh, 5085 before we actually reverse quite sharply. So we are now coming into resistance here, and we are looking for risk aversion. Again, a lot will depend on the, uh, the actual uh, reaction on US equities. And for my interpretation, given the uh, shooting star formation and given the h &S formation, the S&P, you are looking at weakness there. So bear that in mind, okay? In terms of the uh, next moon index, let's look at the euro stocks versus rem remain on European equities. Again, euro stocks has made a lower low, okay? So therefore, one would expect a lower high and therefore a lower low continued, okay? So 60-minute chart certainly has held support at 3,440. So again, look for potential support to hold below. Uh, given the fact that the euro has spiked, that certainly is a negative for the uh, the actual European equities. It certainly seems to be hurting, especially with weaker PMIs and weaker earnings from Siemen. FTSE 100 certainly is a stellar outshining index, given the fact that you have uh, the uh, GBP USD uh, certainly declining and helping uh, to a large extent, although Mr. Carney has indicated there are going to be hikes going forward. We have wage growth, um, 
that's certainly anemic and that certainly isn't helping uh, the uh, the consumer at all so if anything from my perspective it certainly is net net bearish for the uk economy and therefore it's bearish for the FTSE 100 too FTSE has broken past that 7440 level but i am looking for a lower high here folks okay given the fact that we had a lower high here and then you've got a lower high here okay we have actually exceeded that fib 75 percent hence the reason why i went short for 7450 uh, again, looking for weakness. Uh, my stop loss is just above 7487. So if you break above, uh, again, I'll take my loss. But I'm certainly looking for a move lower back down to that 7380 zone, potentially even retesting 7430 um, before plunging back down to 7390. So from my perspective, it certainly is net net bearish for the FTSE 100 uh, going forward, uh, especially given the fact that we've had weakness in oil as of uh, recently as well. Uh, Chinese data weaker overnight, Asian markets certainly looking to top out and looking weak. So everything is indicating for a move lower. Okay, so in terms of the FTSE, let's just quickly go to a 10 minute chart at the moment. Certainly out sh shining, breaking resistance here, here, here. So again, we had multiple wall of resistance. Again, it certainly seems to have broken it all. Uh, next key resistance, if we continue with this rally, 7475, 7485, 7490. So hence the reason why my stop loss is just above 7490. Okay, so again, like I said, looking for a sell-off. Given the fact that we've bounced from a pivot low of 73.85, we still have an unfilled gap at 73.70. So again, bear, bear that in mind. Uh, unfilled gaps below act, act like magnets for price action to be forced lower. So again, looking for a potential retracement back to that breakout at 74.20. Again, you have resistance here at 73.40. So again, watch out for 73.40 if we do retest and retrace back into 73.40. Uh, 7440, should I say 7440, and then you are looking at 7420. So they are the two key zones on the retracement lower. Okay, I think that's a good summation, really, of uh, European equities. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal and download the latest app. Goodbye now.